Hey Kiyoki, so I'm making this video for you. So in your email to me, you, it said you were using your iPhone, so I assume you're going to be using iOS. Correct me if I'm wrong, and I'll make a video for you, a product demo for you on Android. So I'm going to assume that you're just opening up the app. <laughs> so the first thing you, that you'll see is this screen right here, and this is an iOS. Make sure you have the latest version. Just click on Pick Post. Sorry, missed that right there. So click on Pick Post. And then immediately after that, open library. And then you can start using the picture that you have. So this is what you sent me. I edited edited, edited the background um, to give the scene more context. So let's resize it. So also, um, something I forgot to mention, the resizing of this is a little bit um, uncomfortable at times. It'll be much more smoother by next week for iOS users. <sighs> so, okay, so the next thing you want to do is go to the gear icon and enter the email address you use to purchase PicPost because that'll unlock, that'll unlock all of the paid content that's here. And you can ignore all the backgrounds and ignore this experience section for now. Um, over time, I'm going to delete these superfluous sections and over time, PicPost will actually be its own separate application. Anyway, so it says Romantic Rose, Rosewater Botanical Spray. So an easy, one of the easiest ways to use PicPost is to simply do a search feature. So under foregrounds, search for rose. And it's gonna take about 10, 10 seconds to load. Sorry, I didn't get much sleep. Okay, so then you'll see a lot of effects relating to rows, um, just a lot of different effects. So one of my favorite effects, which I recently added, it's called red petals falling toward camera. And this is the very latest, yeah, so make sure you have the very latest version of iOS downloaded. Okay. And there we go. That's one of the effects you can use. I mean, if that doesn't look cool, I don't know what is. Okay, let's, let's let it go some more so that you see the full effect. Okay, to remove an effect, just hold on it for two seconds and then click the X right here. Okay, let's see what else we have. What if we do... I'm gonna try rose 12. I know the, the touch sensitivity on this iPad is, is not great. It's not the app, it's the actual physical hardware I'm using. Anyways, and then we can do that. Okay, that's something we can use. Also, what if we do white petals falling toward camera like a white rose oh <laughs> i like that too um another thing you can try is instead of searching for something you can just browse by category for example let's go to the plants and flowers section um, cause you know, some effects, like it just helps to browse different items to get ideas flowing. Um, like for example, this effect, like it's not even animated, but I think it still looks pretty cool. Adds a little something and then, ah, okay. I clicked that by accident, huh? But by accident, it still looks pretty good. It's not animated, but whatever. Again, that's the, there's an issue with the touch sensitivity here. And what if we add a sparkle, go to the sparkle and, sparkle and particle effects and add a cool sparkle effect. I don't think I hit it. Okay. 
Okay. Oh. See, like by accident, like this scene is kind of made by accident, but I find that some of the best scenes I've ever made were kind of like um, not according to plan when I was just like having fun with it. Um, and then to make a recording, just press the record button, hold it down for a couple of seconds, and then pause it whenever, um, you know, you're happy with the length of the scene. Okay, let's see how it looks. Oh, <laughs> not bad at all. Okay, so I'm here, Kyoki, if you have any questions.